in last lecture we saw the structures of elemental semiconductors and we saw that elemental semiconductors like silicon germanium have had a diamond like structure in this lecture we will see the structures of some compound semiconductors we know that in recent years a number of compound semiconductors have found applications in various devices the most important compound semiconductors are three five and two six compounds some other compound semiconductors from group 4 and 6 are also found but most of these for most of them 
have a small band gap that limits their application in infrared detectors and lasers so we will study the compound from third fifth and second sixth groups in details first let me start from third and fifth compound semiconductors we know that these semiconductors are compound compounds formed from the elements of group 3 of periodic table and mostly these are metals with those in group 5 to first let me make the possible combinations of these elements here in this column i am writing 
elements of group 3 that is I am writing in this direction starting from boron then aluminium then gallium and then indium and in this row I am writing the elements of group fifth that is here nitrogen then phosphorus then arsenic and then antimony now we can make some possible combination from these elements that is first with the combination of boron and nitrogen is BN second with the combination of aluminium and nitrogen third with gallium and nitrogen and next with indium and nitrogen similarly with boron and phosphorus then aluminium phosphorus then gallium phosphorus and indium phosphorus similarly we can make boron arsenic aluminium arsenic gallium arsenic from combination of indium and arsenic similarly boron and antimony aluminium and antimony with the combination of gallium and antimony and in the combination of indium and antimony please note that note all these combinations have semi conducting nature or behavior and one important thing is that here I am ignoring the elements from thallium and bismuth because they are not important for us and in this combination let me change in this combination this combination is not possible this is not possible or doesn't show semiconducting nature and all the combination of aluminium these combination are very unstable they can disintegrate with time and these six element elemental combination are very important for application point of view so these six combination are very important and one important thing is that
important thing is that all these three five compound semiconductors are having similar structures or crystal structure that is of zinc blend all these compound semiconductors are having zinc blend structures and we know that zinc blend is similar to diamond structure in diamond structure all the atoms belong to same element whereas in zinc blend structure these atoms belong to two different elements in these following figures or images we can see this is silicon structure that is diamond like structure where all the atoms belong to a similar silicon elements but here all the atoms at corners and on the six faces are belong to a similar element here for example these atoms belong to gallium and all the four inner atoms belong to arsenic so this is the difference between diamond like structure and zinc blend like structure in zinc blend structure there are atoms those belong to two or more different elements
and similar to silicon structure eight valence electron are shared by a pair of nearest atoms so that on an average each atom has four electrons this suggests that this suggest that the bonding has a covalent character and to a first approximation it seems that the cohesion between the atoms is homopolar so we would expect the properties of these compounds to be similar to that of the group four semiconductors however there is a big difference between
थ्री फाइव कंपाउंड सेमी कंडक्टर्स एंड फोर्थ ग्रुप एलिमेंटल सेमी कंडक्टर्स इन एलिमेंटल सेमी कंडक्टर्स the covalent nature or character is 100% it is because if we take a example of silicon let these two silicon atoms since these two atoms belong to same element so on an average these bonding electrons are always spending maximum average time in between these atoms so there is no induced charges on this atom and this atom but in case of third and fifth elements for third and fifth compound semiconductors so in these silicon silicon or elemental semiconductors have 100% covalent character but due to difference in electro negativity between group 3 and group fifth elements third and fifth compound semiconductor can have an ionic nature with covalent nature and i think all of you know that electronegativity is the attraction power of the bonding electrons so if we take a example of gallium and arsenic since arsenic has a stronger electronegativity so arsenic can attract these bonding electrons towards itself and in this way we can find a induced negative charge on arsenic atom and since electrons are going away from this gallium atom so there will be a positive charge so in this way the bond between gallium and ars arsenic becomes ionic ionic in nature and i am very sure that you 
know that a ionic bond is stronger than a covalent bond and a covalent bond is stronger than a metallic bond due to this ionic plus covalent character group 3 fifth compound semiconductors having a higher melting point melting point then group fourth elemental semiconductors at the same time they have larger band gap so we know that a ionic bond can increase the stability of the molecule so due to that extra stability these three fifth compound semiconductors have higher melting point and a larger band gap then the elemental semiconductors of group 4 the technical importance of the technical importance of three and fifth semiconductors is that they provide a wider choice of band gap then do elemental semiconductors some of these compounds have energy band gap corresponding to the visible range
एंड हैव फाउंड एप्लीकेशन इन लाइट इमिटिंग डायोड्स एंड इन अदर ऑप्टो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एप्लीकेशंस सम कंपाउंड सेम डॉक्टर लाइक इंडियम एंटीमनी एंड इंडियम आर्सेनिक आर यूज इन गलवेनो मैग्नेटिक डिवाइसिस बट मेजर प्रॉब्लम with these compounds is that it's very difficult to make single crystal from these materials on the other hand controlling of the stoichiometry is also not easy stoichiometry is the ratio of the elements a and b and in this compound semiconductors stoichiometry should be perfect so that we can get desired results from that semiconductor the general formula of these compounds is a that belongs to group third and b that belongs to group fifth best thing for this compound is that many of these 
have similar structure and similar lattice constant therefore due to similar structure and similar lattice constants these compounds exhibit complete solid solubility in each other and as a result structures of the form a that belongs to group third b that also belongs to group third and c that belong to group fifth elements are possible here we can write x and this should be 1 minus x where x ranging from 0 to 1 and if there are three elements we can say that tertiary compound and if there are two elements then we can call them as binary compounds due to this easy solubility of these compounds we can tune the band gap and other properties as per our requirement this is the main points or oh, this is the main point for these compound semiconductors that is we can tune the band gap and other properties of these materials easily similarly the growth of crystal having two different
group five elements like gallium phosphorus arsenic if this is y then this must be 1 minus y is also possible so in this lecture we see the structures of group 3 and fifth compound semiconductors and we see that these compound semiconductors have a structure that is similar to zinc blend and since many of these compounds are having similar structures and similar lattice constant so therefore we can make tertiary and larger molecules using these semiconductors and by this we can tune the band gap and other properties of these compound semiconductors in next lecture we will see the structure of group second and sixth compound semiconductors.